One of the uh, important ideas uh, w when we're doing linear regression is, is there are different statistical packages out there, software packages you can use on your computer, and you can input all your data, and it's going to spew out something like this, which we call uh, computer output. And when you look at this, it may look a little busy and a lot of things going on here, but the, what's great about it is there's all this information given to you if all you can do is, is read the computer output. So for instance, usually at the top up here, there'll be something called the dependent variable. Whatever this variable is, that is our Y variable. And you can go down the list here. There's some other things too. We know what R squared is. So R squared is 92.3%. There's something called R squared adjusted, which you don't have to really worry about. It's a more complicated uh, issue here getting at R squared, but we don't really use that in AP stats. Next up, we have what's called S, which we also call the standard deviation of the residuals. And it's basically how much variability there is in all the residuals. And then there's some more input here, which would be used in a more uh, complicated stats course, but not in AP stats. So I'm just going to go ahead and cross that off. And then down here, you're going to see the word constant. Whatever the word is below it is what we would call the x variable. So the x variable in this case is fat, and the y variable is calories. Whatever's next to the x variable is our slope. And whatever's next to the word constant is the y-intercept. So you don't have to really think or calculate or anything like that. All you have to do, do is be able to read the table, and it basically is telling you what the slope, the y-intercept, x and y variables are, what r squared is, and so on. So for instance, from this computer output alone, I would define my x variable as fat. I would define my y variable is, as calories. And I could write out the line of best fit right now. I could say y hat equals my y-intercept is 210.94. And then my slope is 11.0 and then 555. Five. Oh, oops, that was a terrible zero there. Let me redo that one there. Should be a zero, and then five, 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 and then x. So that's your line of best fit. And really, the only thing that you'd have to calculate it here is, is what's r. So we, if we know that r squared is 0.923, if we change it over to a decimal, to find r, we just need to square root that. So take your calculator, square root 0.923, and when you do that, you should get. Uh, 0.961. But as we know, r can be either positive or negative. And whenever you square root a number, it's either positive or negative. So the question is right now, which one is it? Is it positive 0.961 or is it negative 0.961? And the answer lies in the slope. So go over and look at the slope. And if the slope is positive, that means r is positive. If the slope is negative, that means r is negative. So r in this case is positive 0.961 because r and the slope always have the same sign. Either they're both positive or they're both, ne both negative. So that's how computer output works. It's really simple. If you can read it, all the information is there, except for r. You just got to work a little bit for that, and there it is.